the lidocaine bottle with an alcohol wipe. Um, this is in case I'm doing the procedure without an assistant. And you want to open your pellets into the tray before you put on your sterile gloves. I'm right-handed, so I'll put on the right-sided glove, and then I'll draw up my lidocaine. Again, I've already um, sterilized the top with an alcohol wipe. We usually use 1% lidocaine with epinephrine, 5 cc's for women. In men, we'll use a combination of lidocaine with epinephrine and without epinephrine, usually about 5 cc's with the epinephrine and 7 cc's without. After that's drawn on, I, drawn up, I put on my other glove. And I'm going to prep an area in the line between the anterior iliac spine and the upper gluteal crease. You want to place the incision below where the patient wears her pants or her belt line and not where they lay on their hip. And you look for an area where there's not a vessel. You prep in concentric circles with the betadine swab. And you use a sterile drape that comes in the kit. I probably should have put the blue side out for the movie, but. And I um, swab off the betadine so I can make sure I see the vessels. Now there's a little vessel here and here, and I want to put my incision not over a vessel. So you're going to feel a little needle stick, and then the numbing medication. And I'm about one centimeter under the skin. As I come out, I create a wheel in the skin, and that makes sure they don't feel that little skin incision. There's my wheel. Just press them out a second. I take the number 11 blade, make a small nick in the skin, about five millimeters. And you don't want to go deep. You do this with a little bit of a sawing action. I then take the three-piece set, and I take the sharp trocar and put it in the cannula. I go down, and then angle it about one centimeter underneath the skin. Something if you twist, it goes in a little bit easier. Now I hold my hand here in case I drop a pellet when I'm putting it in the cannula. And if you'll notice, my little finger is over the opening, because sometimes, if the angle's right, the pellets could actually slip out. There's the other one. Of course, it's hiding under my stereo strips. I then take the blunt trocar and advance the pellets into the subcutaneous tissue. Pull the whole unit out, and you're done. It's simple. I clean the area off with um, the alcohol wipe that comes in the kit. Takes about the longest. Then a single stereo strip over the incision. We put a little dressing on and the patient will hold pressure for about five minutes. Oh, she follows directions well. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.